Starting off, this list isn't going to be ordered by importance, but instead, it will unfold sort of like a workflow, showing how these tools fit together and complement each other in the hacking and reverse engineering process. To simplify this workflow, we're going to assume we're all making an aimbot for an FPS. So first, we're going to start out with Cheat Engine. This tool is amazing for initially understanding the game's mechanics from a memory manipulation standpoint. Using Cheat Engine, you can scan the game's memory while it's running to find values that correspond to in-game attributes, like your character's position or the position of enemies. This is crucial for developing an aimbot, as you'll need to manipulate these values to automatically aim and track your targets. Cheat Engine's user-friendly interface and ability to inject code make it a powerful starting point for altering game behavior in real time. For our aimbot project, the initial step with Cheat Engine involves identifying the memory addresses that control player aiming and positioning. By using Cheat Engine's scanning capabilities, we can pinpoint these addresses even without knowing their exact values ahead of time. For instance, by changing your in-game position and scanning for altered values, Cheat Engine can help narrow down the specific address that corresponds to your position in the game world. This allows for real-time game manipulation that forms the backbone of an effective aimbot. After laying the groundwork for Cheat Engine, we're now going to start using Reclass to further our aimbot development. The focus here shifts to reconstructing the player class, a critical component in understanding how the game manages player data. Reclass is instrumental in this phase. It allows us to take the addresses and values we've identified within Cheat Engine and start piercing together the game's underlying structure. Reconstructing the player class involves mapping out its attributes and methods, everything from player coordinates, health, and ammo, to more complex behaviors like field of view and aim direction. Reclass enables us to visualize and edit the game's memory structures in a more intuitive way. By doing so, we can understand how player attributes are stored and how they interact with the game mechanics. This step is vital for aimbot development. An accurate reconstruction of the player class allows us to precisely control our character's actions in the game. For instance, by manipulating the aim direction stored within the player class, we can ensure our aimbot always locks onto an opponent. Additionally, understanding the player class also helps us in identifying enemy players within the game's memory, a crucial element for any effective aimbot. Now with a solid grasp on the game's memory and data structures, we move on to Binary Ninja. This powerful tool shifts our focus from a dynamic memory manipulation to the realm of static binary analysis allowing us to dissect the game's executable at a granular level. Binary Ninja shines by offering an intuitive interface and a plethora of analysis tools, making the complex task of reverse engineering more accessible. For instance, if we aim to eliminate Go and Recall, a common feature in FPS games that puts the player's aim off target with each shot, we start by identifying how the game implements this game mechanic. Initially, using Cheat Engine, we might observe changes in our player's aim position or view angles after firing a weapon, hinting at functions that modify these values to simulate recoil. Armed with this knowledge, we can then employ Binary Ninja to pinpoint the exact functions within the game's binary responsible for these modifications. Binary Ninja fa facilitates a deep dive into the game's code structure, allowing us to trace back from the observed effects, like aim displacement, to their causes, the functions writing to these memory addresses. By analyzing these functions internals within Binary Ninja, we can understand how recoil is calculated and applied. This step is crucial as it enables us to identify potential targets for modification or hooking, setting the stage for the actual manipulation of game mechanics. After deep diving into the game's mechanics with Cheat Engine, understanding its data structures with Reclass, and dissecting its binaries with Binary Ninja, we've now poised to bring our aimbot from concept to reality. Focusing entirely on C++ for the implementation phase, this crucial step involves writing the aimbot logic, performing the necessary mathematical calculations for targeting, hooking into the game's functions, and compiling our work into a DLL for injection into the game. The heart of our aimbot is crafted in C++, a language chosen for its efficiency and control over system resources, essential for real-time game manipulation. The implementation begins with the aimbot math, the core algorithm that calculates the precise adjustments needed for the aim to lock on to a target. The aimbot math central to, to this calculation is vector math, which involves understanding the game's coordinate system to calculate the direction and distance between the player and the target. 
Using vectors, we can determine the angle adjustments needed to align the player's aim with the target, ensuring high accuracy. With the logic and math in place, the next task is hooking it into the game's functions. This involves intercepting specific game functions, particularly those responsible for player movement and aim, and rerouting them to include our aimbot calculations. In C++, this is achieved by directly modifying the game's memory or by using external libraries designed for such modifications. The aim is to seamlessly integrate our aimbot logic into the game's execution flow, enabling it to work in real time without disrupting the game's inherent mechanics. Once our aimbot code is ready, the entire logic is compiled into a DLL, or a dynamically linked library. This DLL is the final product of our development process, containing all the aimbot functionality, from mathematical calculations to function hooks. The choice of a DLL is strategic. It allows for dynamic loading into the game process, facilitating a smooth injection and execution alongside the game's own code. The injection process typically involves a separate injector program, often developed in C++ as well. This program's role is to insert our aimbot DLL into the game's process space, allowing it to execute within the game's environment. Once injected, our aimbot becomes part of the game, automatically adjusting the player's aim based on predefined logic and calculations. Crafting an aimbot, as demonstrated, involves a sophisticated array of tools and techniques, each playing an important role in game hacking, from the initial probing with Cheat Engine to the detailed dissections offered by Binary Ninja, and finally to the precise implementation in C++. This journey is a testament to the depth and complexity of creating such tools. This overview, while comprehensive, abstracts away many of the challenges and nuances inherent in the process. Issues such as evading detection mechanisms built into games, ensuring compatibility across different game versions, and the ethical consideration of the game hacking are just a few layers that add to the complexity of aimbot development. To aid those interested in delving deeper into this fascinating world, additional resources and more detailed explanations will be provided in the description below. These materials aim to shed light on the finer points of the development process, offering a more granular view of the challenges and solutions involved in creating an aimbot. But anyways, that's it. I'll see you on the next one.